Welcome everybody to Games Cast by Panda in a Row. If you wish to see more comedy games, please follow my YouTube and Twitch pages below. On the red team, we see Singed up top, a Varus Leona down bottom, a Lise in the middle, and a Nunu Jungle. For the blue team, we do see a Syndra in the mid, a Vayne not connected down bottom, Vladimir up top, and then a Moomoo in the jungle. Let's hope the not connected does connect. And Vayne did smartly bring cleanse here, as the ultimates from Varus and Leona are going to be a really devastating combo once they hit six. Because Leona can jump in, force out something. Okay, looks like the game is at the two minute mark as we do join it up. The missing person was a Nami and they have not connected, but we'll give them a minute or two to connect. If they don't, oh well, looks like Elise has gone up top with a middle singed. There we go, there's the Elise. No, bi no big deal. As long as you connect before about 2.30 or probably maybe even three minutes, you're not going to lose a whole lot. Because usually the supports are helping out the jungler a little bit, and it's no big deal. I'm kind of surprised to see how this mid Singe works out, as Singe usually does fairly well against Vladimir. Not extremely well, but usually well enough, as both of them are fairly late game carries. Looks like Varus and Leona are going to come in here, and Leona's just going to zone Vayne out. Vayne's level 1, and there's nothing Vayne can really do down there until she hits... Probably three. Yeah, she did go with the Condemn and Tumble, so she should have a decent time down there. She can knock anyone back. It looks like at least having a fun time there with Vladimir. As they both exchange a good bit of damage. Bandage toss in front of Mumu. Nice slow by Syndra, but Singe will just ghost out. And he will have to go back to base. The Flask is not very good for keeping someone like that alive. Through heavy damage, looks like Syndra does burn the night and it will be not enough to kill singed as the flask keeps him alive with sub 30 health who that was close that crystalline flask even just barely alive the other down bottom misses Bane, and that was just a little bit off at least doing a ton of damage to this vladimir and vladimir does not have much of a chance against Elise until he picks up a little bit of magic resist Vladimir has a ton of health, but not very many resistances, and Elise does damage based on your health. Looks like Leona does get a nice combo in there, but Varus will not be able to follow up as he was just a little too slow as he did opt for a longsword start. Both he and Vayne did opt for the longsword starts, and they are fairly trading fairly evenly on farm as both sides are even. Elise with another big chunk of health taken out of his Vladimir. Vladimir is farming evenly with Elise at this point, but that combo by Elise is absolutely deadly. Looks like Nami um, will not be hit. Who goes for Vayne? As Vayne does take a fair bit of damage, and wisely Vayne cleanses and flashes away. But that is two sp spells down for Vayne and one on Nami down. For no real changes, like Nunu does come in here and hit Syndra for a fair bit of damage. Nunu is getting low and will have to back up. I don't believe either one's going to go down. But this means that Syndra is going to win this middle lane pretty hard unless Singe gets a kill here. And Singe will not get the kill, but Nunu does with that Ice Blast right at the end. But you've just gave Syndra double buffs, and that is not what you want to see. As Vayne gets very low down bottom. And Syndra with double buffs is really scary, especially when she's already winning the lane rather hard versus Singe. Singe is just not that good in the middle lane, as he is pretty weak early lane and you need a mid most mid laners are usually very good in the early to mid game with the exception of Karthus who is absolutely amazing all game long the score is 2 to 1 as you approach the 545 mark and looks like Nami will be a target of Leona this time as Vayne wisely condemns her into the wall and does take her out but Vayne will go down herself to that last shot of Varus and that is a good trade for the red team. And I would trade Leona for Vayne pretty much without question all game long. Especially when Vayne doesn't get the kill. You have a kill to Nami and you get a kill on Varus. 
trade that every chance you get. Please, please trade that. Looks like we do see Singe farming out the race here. Or at least trying to as he does throw a ward down. And he is not going to be a very happy Singe. But he will stack this tier very quickly as toggle effects do proc the tier. Looks like Nunu does come in. But Singe is not going to be fast enough to cast the Syndra. As that AoE slow is very strong. And there is a stun on to Nunu who will get taken down by the ultimate. And this Syndra is going to go out of control soon. She's sitting at 3-0-0 with 37 CS and in really a dominant position at this point. Singed can't even enter lane. He basically just has to sit back and farm at his tower while toggling his poison pretty much as often as he can as the toggle from poison will stack the tier of the goddess. Looks like Shins has popped his ultimate just to kind of keep himself alive and allow him to stay in experience range. The Yonda is down here of trying to get onto Vayne, but Vayne did see her as there is a ward in that bush. Looks like Leona does land onto Vayne, and Vayne will take a fair bit of damage. So here comes the ult from Varus, and this will be a dead Vayne, assuming Vayne does get hit by the long-range arrow of Varus. Looks like Singe does do some fair bit of damage, but Elise misses, and Elise will not be able to pursue this. But Syndra will go down to the minions. Ooh, those minions. Purple caster minions are so strong. But it looks like Amumu is in trouble as Nunu does come in here and land the slow. At least with the stun follow up and a good bit of damage. And the slow should finish that off. I Meaning the red team has evened up the kill score. And there is a 300 gold difference. But the big problem here is Varus is getting really farmed. And. I like Varus over Syndra, but Syndra might be able to kill Varus. Looks like Leona's just out of range. To hit Nami there, and there will be just a nice backup by both teams and a reset. It was a nice try, but just a little out of range there by Leona. Looks like Vladimir has picked up his Hextech Revolver, and looks like Leona is coming back. She will land it on Vayne, and this is a, going to be a dead Vayne. Wise move by Nunu, just waiting to throw the snowball. As Varus picks up yet another kill. Varus sitting at 3-0-0 with almost 70 CS. And the red team could take that bottom tower if they want it, but they wisely back up as they are fairly low. Singed is getting a giant belt and is going to just go pure health this game. I like the choice versus Syndra as Syndra's sustained DPS is not that high, but her burst combo is pretty ridiculous. At least up top, chunking Vladimir down really far with every single one of her Qs. Especially the fact that Vladimir is going to stay at fairly high health between transfuses. And after every transfuse, she can easily just knock his health down because her Q does percent of max health. Or no, percent of current health, excuse me. And percent of current health is pretty dangerous. And in spider form, it will do percent of missing health. So Vladimir is likely to have a lot of missing health pretty soon. As long as she spams that out. She does also have red buff. So that will the slow will be applied. Vayne is completely zoned out of this bottom lane. She can't even enter it at this point. She is going to go take the double golems, I believe. But that's not a very safe decision. As she's taking a lot of damage. And burning a lot of Nami's mana to do so. Singe in the middle just taunting a bit as he has gotten a fair bit on that tier. Looks like Syndra has opted for a tier as well, stacking it up a fair bit. Especially now that she has the blue buff. Looks like at least we'll be taking a fair bit of damage. Singe in the middle will be flipping around and trying to run away, but he does not even have boots yet. So he is likely going to die to that Syndra ultimate or just when we're crying, at least does escape up top. Thanks to Flash, she burned a flash. Looks like Amumu is going to be coming down bottom, but will be spotted out by a nice push ward. The ultimate vibe. Nami coming out. Varus does pop his ultimate. And decide, I'm just going to go kill Vayne. And it looks like he might even be able to get a kill on Amumu or Nami if he so chooses. Neither one of them are that high of health. He wisely jumps away. And here comes Nunu. Nice stun there by Leona. Keeps him alive. Cinder is seen up top. But who will Cinder be able to get on to? 
She does miss, and she does go down to Nunu. Nunu picks up a double kill there. Beautiful play by Varus, being just out of range, making that Syndra really want to come killing. Because Syndra was taunted by him being so low, and that means Syndra just met. Just went for him over trying to get the easier kill on someone like Leona or Nunu. It didn't hurt the fact that he's on a 4-0 spree. And that is just a well-played counter gank by Nunu right there. Doing just enough to get the kills and keeping his teammates alive. Looks like Nunu has picked up the Spirit Stone and Haunted Guys. Has he upgraded that yet? No. He does not have the gold. Cooldown reduction boots up on Vladimir. Nami, Octicore, Phosphor Stone, and likely a Kage's lucky pick next. We do see the Tear and Chalice up on Syndra. Cinch has finally decided to go for Boots. We do see Varus picking up a pickaxe. Elise going for the Spell Penetration build. Looks like Singe is going to take a bit of harassment down here, and it looks like a Moonwood might be able to get this kill on him. Nunu is trying to get in here, and he will keep the Moonwood safe, and Singe just taunts him, as there is no way he's getting out of this, but it does mean Vayne picks up a kill. But Leona grabs a double kill for it, and Varus is going to likely get another kill here, as he is so incredibly strong at this point. And that is a four for one, thanks to that beautiful Singed bait. And this is not looking good for the blue team. They had a great start with Syndra picking up three kills. But there's just not a whole lot that they can do now. The Varus is 503 with almost 100 CS. The only one even close is Vladimir. And Vladimir is not having a fun time versus this Elise. As Elise is just a soft counter to Vladimir. Because Vladimir gets so much health early on. That he never can really keep topped off. And Elise will just continually chunk him down with that neurotoxin. As you see there, 9% of target's current health, in addition to really heavy damage. It just keeps Sin from ever really topping himself off and being safe enough to trade. And also, he can't push is another thing. He can't run in, pop his tide, or Vladimir can't run in, pop his tides of blood, then back out, and at least he'll just go spider form and continue the combo. Looks like Nunu has gone for the Z Ancient. Yes, Ancient Golem. Really love that Spirit Stone, as it does give her tenacity and allow for those boots of mobility. That is probably the best item that was added in the patch. Next to the OP Cleaver, but that really wasn't added, it was more modified. It's like Nami down bottom, he's forced to burn an alt on Leona, but the ultimate from Varys will catch both Vayne and Nami. Nice cleanse there by Varus, but he will likely be going down here for a kill on Amumu. Singed is down here. We'll try to save Leona as Cinder does come as well. And Singed is not in good shape to finish here. As that is a double kill by Amumu and a kill for Vayne as well. Or no, Nami got the kill there. Looks like Vladimir is going to be taken fairly well by this Nunu. And Nunu will be forced to back up. But Vay but Vladimir does get a kill. And the that is some pretty poor trades by the red teams. They went four for none there across the map. Nunu just getting a little overconfident. Same thing with Varus and Leona. Not realizing that Amumu was there. And Amumu with an ultimate is something you just don't want to mess with. And this allows them to come back in the game. They really need to keep Vayne down farther than she is now. Even though she is not... That caught up yet, is the best way I can put it. Looks like Syndra has picked up Sorcerer's Shoes. We do see Vayne going for that early zeal after picking up the Life Steal from the Doran's Blades and Vampire Acceptor. We are seeing Giant's Belts up on Vladimir and Amumu. Amumu has picked up the Hunting Guys and Boots of Mobility. Singe going for the Riley's Crystal Scepter next. Interesting choice instead of picking up any magic resistance or armor. Because I think magic resistance would be amazing this game. Considering they have three primary magic dealers and a support which deals fairly high magic damage. 
Because the Moo Moo magic damage, we do Sucinda magic damage, and Vladimir magic damage. And they have no real physical damage, as Vayne does a lot of true damage, in addition to a decent amount of physical. But mostly Vayne deals that true damage. It's like Nunu is trying to steal the big wraith, but no, when Moo Moo does pick it up. And this Nunu is in trouble, but he does wisely flash away. Then it looks like Leona will come in here, miss with the ultimate by Varus. And that means Nunu, uh, Amumu will go away. Syndra does pop the ultimate onto Nunu. Vayne does come in, but Vayne knocks Singe to the wall. Nice use of the bubble by Nami. And it looks like Vayne will be taken down. Making that a double kill for Singed. Looks like Vladimir wants a piece too, but here's Leona. And I don't think Vladimir is really ready to fight this. As Singed is just a little too tanky. And the combo does come out. Looks like an old nice ultimate by Amumu. Does finish everyone off, and Vladimir transfuses a minion just to stay alive. And that is a 3 for 3 overall. But the big thing is at least got a tower during that. And that means that is a win for the red team. As towers are so incredibly worth it. Especially when you have Vladimir trying to farm out top. And he's not going to be able to really fight with Elise. Even though he is going for it. Looks like a Rylai's Crystal Scepter. Interesting choice. As Singed has completed his. Varus has gone for the early Infinity Edge. At least grabbing the magic resistance early, likely going for that triple magic penetration build. I definitely think that's a good item in this game. As I said a moment ago, three and a half sources of magic damage from the blue team, and their one physical damage deals a lot of true damage as well. As physical, looks like Nudu is doing some big damage here on Syndra, and at least we'll jump in for the finish of the kill. You know, she did stay alive a little bit longer. Mumu does kind of go in and will be taken down as well. Banjijing tosses it a little too far. Vladimir going a little far as well. The exhaust placed down by Leona. And Leona does miss her stun, hitting a minion. But she will get onto this vein as Vayne is forced to cleanse rather quickly. But all four of them are low. And it looks like Elise will get exhausted and taken down by Nami. But no, she does live. Singe does get taken down though in the end. Leona does jump on Vladimir, but they do need to back up. But here comes Nunu Ultimate and Varus. Varus will be able to do a lot as he does pop the Ultimate. The Ultimate will get onto Vlad and take Vlad down for a big spree shut down. Elise is 0-4 and 2 and has just completed the Abyssal Scepter. Singed up there almost with his Seraph's Embrace. He is 200 mana away from that. Let's see how close on Tear of the Gods is. Varus is missed by the bandage toss right there. And he should be able to get away as Leona is here and will gladly sacrifice her life for Varus as Varus is ridiculously important. And Leona is the setup woman. Right now, Nami has gone for the Kage's Lucky Pick Philosopher's Stone and Kindle Gym. Bane going to try and finish out a Phantom Dancer next. Looks like Amumu has picked up some magic resistance in addition to the Spirit Stone of the Ancient Golem and Haunting Guys. Vladimir almost with his Rise Crystal Scepter. Singe with the Rise Crystal Scepter and Archangel Staff. Nunu going for an Age of the Legion. Same thing with Leona after picking up the Ruby Sight Stone. And right now the kill score is 16 to 21 as we are in kind of a lull at this point as neither team really wants to fight at this point. Except in, if they get a really nice gank like this. And Vayne is going to die. You just got cut out a little too far Vayne. And this will be a dragon. The first one of the game for the red team. And as I score is now 16 to 22 at the 20 minute mark. With a nice 6,000 gold lead for the red team. Soon to be about 7,000. As they really just dominated this bottom lane and top lane and snowballed it. Mid lane didn't do so hot and the jungle did okay. But it's really been those bottom top lanes just snowballing hard out of their very favorable matchups. Leona just crushes Nami Vane. As whoever Leona goes on will basically die. Especially with Ver a combo of Varus. As Varus is an early game monster. 
Looks like another tower will go down from the red team, extending their lead even more. And they will not try and press in on this tower. They're just trying to be annoying. As the red team does see every single one here. And there is no chance they're going to fight this. And then we will try and get advantage. But he does decide to flash Varus instead. But that is a nice ultimate by Leona to keep Varus safe. Knock up by the Nami ultimate. And a flash burn by Varus. Varus will go down to Zimumu. But will Zimumu pay the price for it? No, he will not as he is very low but not dead yet. Nice use of the exhaust by Leona keeping herself safe. And every single one from the blue team is low except their support. But here comes Elise. And Elise should have a good time here as they do re turn the engagement singe does go down but elise and not elise and leona are going to come on the chase for this syndra and this will likely be end up a two for two engagement elise does come back and try and fight the rest of the blue team as the blue team is playing saving private syndra at the moment but syndra will not get away as nunu did land a nice slow Cinder's ultimate is not up yet. But she will be trying to get a kill. Though she wisely just goes in suicides. There's a very good choice to just go suicide there. As you do not gain anything from um, dying and giving away an assist. When you could just die and not give the other team that additional 200 or so gold for your life. Looks like the red team pinged Baron, but does not decide to go for it, as they likely just need a ward up there. Vladimir has completed his Rylai's Crystal Scepter, and if ends that Holy Grail up on Syndra, and likely going for the Archangel Staff. The Seraph's Embrace is picked up onto Singe. Really like that item on Singe, as he really benefits from the mana. Let's see, it is giving him 450 health. It's basically a free Giant's Belt thanks to that mana. And that's pretty nice, as he is sitting currently on just under 3,000 HP. <laughs> right now, it looks like there might be a fight breaking out, but no, there is not, as both teams really just want to back up. I love this double runic bulwark coming out of the red team, as there is a ton of magic damage on the blue side. And that gives 30 magic resistance to your team, 30 magic resistance to you for yourself, for a total of 60 magic resistance. Purely from that, I'm alone. And on someone like Leona and Nunu, who are going to be up on the front line, that gives even more. As it does stack, meaning 90 for each of them, just from those items. Looks like Singe Poison Trail is going to do a bit of damage. Singe does pop the ultimate, but Baron is taken down by the red team. As, Ver as Nunu and Varus just kind of casually did it. Varus with that attack speed buff from Nunu is incredibly strong. And that is one reason why Nunu is one of the god tier junglers at the moment. In addition to a f almost god tier support. He's a little weak in lane for a god tier support as Zyra and Sona. In addition, yeah, I'd say those two are about, it, are about the only ones ahead of her. But those are pretty much picked and banned. Well, and Lulu too. I almost forgot about Lulu. And you can't forget about Lulu. Looks like Elise is going to split push up top. As I don't think the blue team wants to engage with Baron Buff. Baron Buff will make this an even fight 5v4. As especially this early game, that large amount of ability and attack power is incredibly strong. In addition to the health regeneration. Sinch is going to run in here and dodges the bandage toss nicely. As he walked in just far enough to bait that out. You do see Varus throwing out a big arrow and nothing coming of it. Vladimir is forced to go top. Singe does throw Amumu back and cuts Amumu's health down by a quarter. Amumu will not be able to engage if he takes another hit like that, as he will just be too low. This Nunu is way too tanky at the moment to really be killed, especially with that double runic, or runic bulwark and Ancient Legion. Singe does come in, but is immediately knocked back. But there's a nice ultimate by Leona that is counteracted by the stun from Cinder. Cinder will be throwing out a ton of damage. Nice ultimate by Amumu. Hits all four of them, but the Baron buff keeps them alive just barely as Nunu finishes them off with a nice ice blast. Singed coming in, but Leona will miss. And this means the red team will just have to settle for a tower. Up top, Vladimir was taken down by the Elise 1v1. <laughs> and 
yeah, this is a very snowballed game for the red team. They decided to group up this game and really pay for letting Varus farm like this. That's all you can say is Varus got really far ahead and farmed. And he's just benefiting immensely from this. And also from the quick Saras from Sandstar. I gotta admit, that is a very nice item. Does it say how much on Saras, how much the shield is? No, it's just 25% of current mana. But I mean, still, it's pretty heavy. It looks like the Numa is trying to come in here and get Singed, but at least we'll back up and just throw the punishment on Syndra. And it looks like the Mumu is very low. But there will not be enough damage to finish anyone off as the Yoda does throw her ultimate up there. But everyone is forced to back away. Leona might have to sacrifice herself. No. The team just decides to... Both teams decide to back up, farm it out. Wise decision by the red team, and the blue team knows they're in trouble at this point. They're down 13,000 gold. They have not taken a single tower this game. We do see Varus going to be picking up a Phantom Dancer next, or he could be going for the Static Ship, but I do believe it's a Phantom Dancer. Singed picking up some armor to go along with... The Seraph's Embrace. Rise Crystal Scepter up on Elise after picking up the Triple Pit Magic Penetration build. Leona has finished off the Runic Bulwark. Looks like Nunu has picked up the Glacial Shroud. Seraph's completed on to Syndra. Nami with the Shroya's Reverie. Vayne finished Phantom Dancer and Vampiric Scepter. Vladimir with the Rise Crystal Scepter and Hextech Revolver. Amumu has completed the Abyssal Scepter in addition to the Haunting Guise and Spirit Stone of the Ancient Golem. And right now a fight will likely be taking place top as they do see Vayne all the way down bottom. And there is no chance Vayne gets back in time to save this tower and they really need Vayne's damage. While it's not a ton of damage at this point in time, having just the Phantom Dancer, it's enough to really make a difference in this fight. Like a nice stun combo out there, but Vladimir will get taken really low, as the Mumu ult does almost kill that Mumu. Vayne does come and fight, but immediately flipped up by Singe. Nami's ultimate does go across, but not a whole lot happens because of it. And it looks like this is a huge win for the red team, as they are just overpowering at this point. Singe is just ridiculously strong. Flips Syndra over the wall and into Leona's cuffs as she does take him down and Vladimir gets pretty low having to pull away at the last second. And there's the surrender vote right at the 28 minute mark. The final score is 18 to 30. And the biggest thing that came down to is Varus got a ton of farm. It was basically left alone. A Varus Leona lane that got left alone until mid game. And it did not work out well as that vein got punished for sitting in that lane. In addition to that, Elise just beat Vladimir flat out. Nothing other than that. Elise naturally beats Vladimir by a little bit, and she really punished that lead to split push as she's sitting at 6.03. And let's check the in-game screen to see if there's anything I missed. And yeah, it's just, just a snowball there. Huge gold advantage thanks to the Massive tower lead. And that's about it. Seven, it was seven towers to zero at the end. That's a ridiculous amount of gold. And it shows in these charts. Thank you for watching Games Cast by Panda Narill. If you wish to see more, follow my YouTube and Twitch pages below.